Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my 1981 Go Tag Along vintage trailer. Um, there's a backstory on when I acquired her and I'll put a link in the description um, to that video. It's just the story on how I acquired this vintage trailer. Uh, her name is Sweet Pea. She came with that name and I kept it. <laughs> I'm not one for naming campers and vehicles, but she came with this name, so I kept it. So it's six feet wide and it's 12 feet long. It's teeny, teeny, teeny. And it's adorable. When I saw this, I fell in love with it. So welcome inside Sweet Pea. She is just adorable. Now, when I bought her, she was all dressed up in pink and white. Everything was pink and white and flowers and lace. The curtains and the bed and everything was, it was, a, it would look like a dollhouse and it was beautiful. Not that I didn't think that was adorable, but it just wasn't, it wasn't me. I found that um, I felt very restricted. Um, uh, as I was decorating, I felt very, very restricted. Like things didn't go unless they were pink or white or frilly. I just like a collection of things I love. Doesn't matter what color they are, what style they are. I just like to, I just like to decorate with things that I love. So I didn't want that restriction. So took all the pink and white out and I just made it my own. So this is the dinette, which is really adorable and very, very comfortable. So I usually sit over here because um, it, this is parked right next to the house. So out this window is the house. Uh, and when I'm sitting here enjoying my breakfast and my tea, I like to look out at the gardens and out at the trees. So this is where I typically sit. And these cushions were pink and all I did was cover them. I found these curtains at a thrift store and I just made cushion covers out of them. And the same with the pillows. These pillows were, I forget what they were, but I just got some zebra fabric and, and covered them and made them, made them what I wanted them to be. And also I took little pieces of the same curtain and just, all I did was cut. I didn't even hem. <laughs> I just put them on these little rings and there you have it. And so this is what I, what I, I, this is where I love to be. So I also, I found this little dish at a, um, at a thrift store and I put that up there. And you know, these things are the cutest little things. Look at these little sconces. Oh, when I put these on, it makes my heart sing over here. There's one over here too. And it just is just beautiful. I love it. Anyway, so this is the bed and it's got all these crank out windows. Um, and under the bed, there is a cabinet under the bed right here, right here. And there's also, um, a, uh, a slat that pulls out all the way here. And there's another half of the mattress is in the closet. So you can make a double bed out of this. Uh, but if I sleep out here, I, I tend to just sleep on here. I don't, I don't make that bed, which is why I put this little table here. So I have this little nightstand and, um, and I just, sometimes I'll come out here in the summer and I'll just lounge here like this with a book and I can just see the pretty flowers and the gardens out there. And, um, I like having this here. Um, but if I was going to be sleeping in here, extending the bed, traveling with it, had somebody else sleeping here, then this would not be here. Um, and I would always be, ha I'd always have it available to, um, the space available to extend the bed if I wanted to. So I put these shelves up right here. I found those at a thrift store too, these little wooden shelves. And um, I put those up there just to put some pretty things in. And I found this little, this little sign at a thrift store too. And cabinets, cabinets, cabinets. So all of this is all storage space. This whole shelf is storage space. The plants do beautifully out here. So I, I love having the plants out here. And all of this storage space up here goes from one end to the other. The whole thing is all storage. So it has really nice storage. Underneath these 
uh, both of these seats is store uh, storage too so those just come up like this and they just have these pieces of like um like paneling <laughs> and a whole bunch of empty space a whole bunch of empty space down there so that's wonderful so over here at the kitchen i have a little light here a little overhead light and it also has a little vent so it has a little screen right here so if you were cooking you could open this vent like that and uh so it has a three burner propane stove and the propane is out on the hitch is that what it's called or the the tongue oh, it's called something i don't know don't know my trailer stuff but anyway so this all works 42 years old this is 42 years old all of this still works and here's the fridge and the fridge works either with uh propane or electric so that's uh, that's a great option to have too and um what i find is the way that i use it i'm just using it kind of like a she shed i'm kind of using it like a little garden a little a little garden getaway right so i don't do a lot of cooking out here but i will uh bring my meals down here so i will cook in the house come down here and uh, assemble my meals make my tea and then i come out here and have it so i don't find myself cooking all that much so what i do what i found more useful for me is in this closet right here i keep this it's a little piece of countertop and what i do is put this right like this and i find it much more useful to me to have this counter space so when i'm out here and i'm just i'm going to put down my my things and maybe wash my dishes and so um th this is what i typically like i like to keep this on that's works well for me and um and this little this little card right here is special the woman that sold it to me uh like I said, if you want to hear the story of my acquisition and when I met Priscilla this day, um, you can watch the video. I'll link it in the description. Uh, but after I bought this, she sent me this card and it says, sometimes your journey will take you off on your path. It's all part of the same trip. Dear Lulu, happy spring and new camper. I hope she brings you great joy amidst your beautiful gardens and lots and lots of fun. It makes me smile to think of you fondly priscilla this is i said i have to keep this and just look at that sweet sweet card it's just so sweet you know and so i keep that here as part of like my decor <laughs> so i have all this um storage space up here too i have my big cast iron pan up here if i ever do want to cook down here um um so as i say in the other video when i talk about the acquisition of this when priscilla had this she used this as her little knitting room and she had this parked in her yard and when i came to look at it when i was going to buy it all these cabinets were filled with yarn they were all filled with yarn and she used to knit in here it was just interesting how i was i was buying it for not to knit in but i was buying it also for a similar reason she had no intentions of traveling in it and i have no intentions of traveling in it so over here is a drawer. It's my junk drawer. I have all my junk in there. And then down here is where I keep the trash. And then over here, I just keep a little bucket of recycling, of recycling. And this cabinet in here is just great big. It's this wide, it's this tall, and it's as deep as this. So that's a ton of storage right there too. And then this is a ton of storage. Um, so this has like a, a, a closet pole. If you wanted to use this as a closet, um, you, this is where the electric box is right here. Oh, this is my daughter. Pa my daughter painted this for me when she was, oh God, I think she was a teenager. And she said that it was me. She thought it looked like me. That was back when I had dark hair. <laughs> And now here's this other closet. Now I just, this is a scarf. I just made, I just put a tension rod here and I just sewed a hem on the top of the scarf. And that's all this is to make a door, just a scarf. 
from a uh, thrift store. So in here is, this is the um, other half of the bed. That's the other mattress that would go here if you wanted to extend the bed. And that's a little space heater I keep because sometimes when I come out here in the morning to enjoy my tea and breakfast, it's a little nippy. So I have my little, my little space heater. The cat loves it out here too. I always take the cat out here with me. And another thing it came with, it came with this porta potty. Uh, I've never used it. Uh, it's got some cobwebs on it, <laughs> uh, but it did come with it. It's one of those cassette toilets. You know, she included that, which was wonderful. So over here, I have, I have running water. I, I it came with an RV faucet, uh, but it was just this little short little plastic thing. The faucet came up about an inch and came over and it, you couldn't really get anything under it. So I said, I'm just going to put a regular kitchen faucet in. Put a, I had a plumber come, put it in. It wasn't easy, but he did it. <laughs> and this is the dish soap. And um, it's just, it's just my little getaway. It's just my little, like, let me go out and be very, very close to nature. It also has this, um, this um, skylight. I can open up. It's not a Max Air fan or anything. It's just a nice vent. Let the air in. Over here, it has this awning that's over the jealousy windows, which is really great. Um, and then there's that the hitch thing with the propane tank. And um, yeah, it's in pretty good shape. It's in pretty good shape. It stays dry. I don't, I don't feel any leaks in there. And uh, it's just adorable. So that's my tour of Sweet Pea. Um, she's adorable. She's, she's all mine. And I love having it out here. I just love uh, a peaceful space that it provides for me. Will I ever take her on the road one day and travel with her? It's probably, it's unlikely, it's unlikely, but, uh, you know, never say never. <laughs> I knew that she was going to be stationary for years. So we put down these, um, uh, one by 12 wooden planks, rolled it right on there. So the wheels are on up on the wood and, um, and then all the jacks are down. And so it's all leveled. It's so, it's so cute because it has this little. It has this little level, this little bubble right here. Yeah. So there's, there's the, you know, the bubbles to make it, make sure it's level and it stays level. It just stays level. And, um, so basically I have it parked, um, against the house over here. So you can see down in here that it's about three feet from the house and, um, just enough to get in there that I can put the hose in and the electric, I can bring the electric out. And um, it's all weeds, but that's okay. <laughs> I got lots of weeds. So I made this um, deck with a pallet. I found a pallet. I had a wood pallet, but it rotted. And so I found this plastic pallet on the side of the road. So I picked it up. And, uh, and then I just put this big cement block here that was left over from a project to use for a step. And um, yeah. So I get to look out at my gardens and the beautiful trees. So I get to look at this beautiful wall of trees and I just know it's filled with birds' nests and birds and there's just critters, there's rabbits that are always running by. I love to just throw out um, some nuts and some uh, pieces of fruit on here and they all come up. <laughs> they all come up and it's great for my cat because my cat sits there. I have the screen door shut. And I, I put all these little goodies here to attract the, the little animals. And I call it Kitty Netflix <laughs> because she's just like sits there and watches and she just loves it, you know. And it's like all the little chipmunks and the bunnies come up and have a little munch. And uh, they're just very brave. They've made themselves at home here. So, so yeah, so that's, that's Sweet Pea. That's Sweet Pea in a nutshell. And uh, I hope you liked her. And bye for now.